Hello, happy peoples. Hope you guys are doing awesome. Starting off in the office trailer today. Soon to be the previous office trailer. Oh my word. Wow. Crazy. So this is supposedly going away tonight. We're getting everything out, all of our tax documents, all the things. Files from forever and a day ago. It's happening. It's a lot of stuff. It's like I'm getting kicked out. It's like, what in the world? You are. Um, but I'm getting kind of a new office. Um, you remember, <laughs> sort of. Well, I showed you a little bit. Let me, uh, let me show you the new office. All right, this is what I've got so far. Check it out. Not too bad, right? Still need to get more stuff up here, but uh, yeah, all good things must come to an end eventually. Uh, that trailer was awesome, and we built that. Actually, you guys have seen that trailer uh, for ever since we started vlogging. We built it nine years ago, and it's funny because today it's all people are all about kind of working from home. It's going to be more normal, but when we Nine years ago, it was not so much the case, right? Um, and we did that so I didn't have to go drive to an office that we rented um, because mainly I wanted to have the family around me. You know, you work a lot when you are self-employed. You know, the joke is you can work half days when you own your own company, uh, 12 hours. And so that's kind of been the case for so many years. And obviously we're trying to make some changes here. So, uh, but it's it's been a great trailer, it really has. So, but for right now, this is going to be the new bird office right here. This room started off the idea, actually on the drawing here, check this out. This is our, this is our drawing. So there we go. That's technically considered the guest room. This is where we are here. The thought was, this is going to be like for school. That was kind of the thought here. But when Nena was living here, we made this Nena's bedroom. So then once she moved out, we're like, cool, now we can make it the school room. But then we ended up having like a change of plans where uh, the whole cart system kind of worked out better for school. So then we had this room. So then it just ended up being like the toy room. So tons of toys, all these things. And to be honest, we don't really come up here. Like maybe once every couple weeks we might come up here. So I think this is going to work out just fine. Plus it's perfect. I mean, check it out. I can sit right here. I can be doing my little work here. I can go over here and just go take a nap. I mean, work hard. And if I'm really bored, I can go play with toys. And it's kind of the best of all worlds. I know it's silly to like be sad about losing an office trailer, but I kind of liked it. Uh, matter of fact, I might go build something else. This is kind of the general thought, is this guy hopefully will be gone the next couple days, but maybe building some kind of like a shed over here and have like a attached little section that's heated that I can have an office in if we want. I don't know. I don't know if it's wise to be spending money on things like that because they're kind of niceties right now. So one step at a time. But yeah, this office trailer has been great uh, for some of the uh, construction-y type people out there. It's eight and a half feet wide, so it's just legal enough to go drive down the road. It is 22 feet long, and it's actually up on all weather wood here that's just sitting on some some shims but it just has four bolts that attaches to this trailer so this thing actually can be taken off the trailer and permanently set somewhere so that's what the new owner's going to do so he's uh, pretty excited about it and he's going to do kind of a similar thing that we do and he's just going to park this at his house so he can spend more time around his family but you can still have somewhat of a professional you know and a quieter place to work amongst all the the craziness uh well this has been awesome right what? Like we did so much out of this so office trailer. Much. Had this obviously forever. And because we knew that we were gonna have it, and this whole place is actually heated with this little piece of electric baseboard right here. 240 volt, four foot chunk of baseboard. How can that heat this whole place at 50 below zero? It does, do you know why? This whole floor, two by tens, R30 of insulation. Two by six walls, R21. R50 in the ceiling here. We hand built trusses for it. I even put sill seal down when we frame this. It's just like a, like a thin layer of foam in between the bottom plate and the plywood to make it super airtight. This We've been able to heat this place for about $100 a month when it's really cold out. It served us well. It served us well. Yeah. We actually did. We've operated a lot out of, out of this space. So. Yeah, church stuff and building stuff. Yep. 
and business stuff. Business stuff. Homeschooling stuff. It was like our only office for a very long time. Right. But so you can do quite a bit in here yeah. too. And I used I mean, to be very much more involved in here where I'm not as much anymore because right. we were able to build a space for me. And Well, now she has her own office, right? right? Which and, I never had before. And you're almost starting to outgrow that one. So now you got another one over at the Alaska Apparel Shop. Right. Oof, Craziness. All, things. all right. So that's what's going on. Kind of, kind of big stuff for for me. I know it's, so, I know it's just an office trailer, guys. But it's, it has to do it's with a lot though. of the. It's like the memories and it's a like lot of. Eleven years. What? How long? Eleven years of your life? I think I've had this for nine. This part, this thing for nine, but with the whole process, it's. It's a big yeah. chunk of time. Easy. Okay, so Evelyn is also at gymnastics, so we need to go pick her up. Um, Audrey is over at taking care of great grandma. She has been her caretaker uh, every time that my mom is at work. So she's able to be a, a huge blessing. So that is awesome. And she kind of enjoyed it. It works. I think it just really works. She feels like she has a job and great grandma feels special because uh, she's got someone there to help take care of her. And of course my dad's there, but he can sometimes has to go into work and do things. So that's been great. But the old Ford just had an issue here. Um, I was taking Audrey out driving to go drop her off and we just lost the power steering for some reason decided to not work and the advanced track traction control we need to go drop this off the shop all these things right so we're gonna go do that pick up evelyn you guys are doing great <laughs> oh one step at a time changes changes seem like they get a little bit harder uh the older you get but it's all good we're rolling with the punches happy days i guess i should probably help my wife and actually we need to get in the road we actually do need to go okay let's do this let's go Right over at Glacier Garage. Mr. Harley here, you're one of the owners here, right? Yes, sir. That's awesome. And you guys just started recently. Yes, last August was when we first started. And you just took off. These guys are blowing up. So Yeah, super thankful. A lot of community support, friends, family. That's awesome. Yeah. Truck's got power steering, decided to not work. Uh, and you're probably going to say it's a Ford because I know you're a Chevy guy. Right? So, <laughs> and the advanced track, whatever that is, like the traction control. So, yeah. Anyway. I mean, those things could be related. Yeah. So, two systems that communicate. So, it could be a similar issue. But you guys can handle that stuff, you think? Yeah, yep, okay. absolutely. All right, awesome. Well, I've got them here, though. Let me throw you on the spot here. Mm -hmm. So, you fix vehicles, extreme cold climate here in Alaska. Uh, what are some of the common things you see? So, I want to say like a Subaru is, is typically one of the more popular vehicles here. But I notice I see them in the shop. What are some of the issues maybe a Subaru might run into? Mm, so, I mean, those guys come in for a lot of like routine maintenance, service interval stuff. Um, so we'd be talking about like timing belts, mm. um, timing belts, uh, gaskets, gaskets, that type of stuff. Okay. Um, pretty typical. I mean, just regular maintenance brakes, stuff like that as well. So on those, like roughly, what's a timing belt cost, would you say? Timing belt, depending on year, stuff like that, parts. A, a rough rough range. About two grand. Okay. Yeah. Yep. And then uh, head gaskets? Four to five, depending if that's like an engine out, that's a little bit more of an in-depth repair. Right, okay. What about like other, maybe other vehicles or if people are moving here, because you probably see a lot of military, I imagine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like what are some of the things that you tend to like notice right away or help people with right away? Mm, like so, like incoming soldiers, something like that, probably like winterizations from like August to January, we do six winterizations a day just about every day so quite a few of those so winterization what does that mean for people that maybe live in hotter climates mm -hmm. so winterization that's going to be heating pads block heater in a lot of cases 
Um, so a heating element that literally just like bolts into the block, yep. um, heats the coolant up. Uh, but also like with that, the important part is like adjusting your coolant, mm. like uh, setting like the water to glycol mixture okay. um, to like negative 60. Negative 60, okay. Yeah, because even like when it's 40 below, you're driving, you got wind chill, stuff like that. Uh, a lot of vehicles will still possibly like overheat. And, and if your coolant's off. not set right and mm -hmm. it gets colder, that can crack your block, right? Yeah, I mean, that's super catastrophic. Probably kind of rare, but I mean, that's an extreme case, but yeah, no, it's 100% yeah. possible. So, so, check your coolant and get your vehicle winterized. Yep, that, and then I always recommend like a trickle charger as well. Just because oh, okay. once it gets cold, it taxes that Char battery. Charge your battery when you plug it in. Yeah. Awesome. So that's part of our winterization process. Cool. I appreciate that. Yeah. No problem. Stopped over at Grandma's house, Grandma and Grandpa's house, real quick. Um, Audrey has decided to spend the night over here because Grandma doesn't have to work tomorrow. So she requested pickles and a hairbrush. <laughs> I already brought her her clothes earlier, and apparently she for, she wanted these things too. So what really been cool actually is um, Audrey has actually been able to help Grandma out a little bit here um, while she's kind of been settling and just kind of figuring out different things. So she's been able to work here like three days a week, which is super cool. Um, kind of treating it like, you know, getting up on a schedule, all the things, keeping track of hours and uh, just kind of been able to help grandma out. So super awesome, super grateful and that she has that heart that really enjoys doing it because she's actually really, really loved it. I don't know, it just suits her really, really well. So let's go give her these things. How are things going uh, working here with Grandma? What is your thoughts? What do you think of it? I think it's cool. I, I like doing it. Yeah? I like taking care of Grandma. It's fine. I do get very tired. Very tired. Wait, you're going to stay over here at Grandma's? Uh, you're going to stay the night? Yep. Okay, with your pickles. Ding! Ding! Sleep overnight with my pickles. Okay. So we're going to head on back home. Fun, cool, exciting stuff happening this evening. A little emotional. A little sad. A little little like oh so we will see you back at home and get started with that project changes to come cuz the lights just around the corner life must go on what will kill me will make me stronger when i'm falling down on my knees i will rise and try emotions <laughs> oh gosh pray for us guys with this big of a transition for our family excited but I'm also very nervous <sighs> but you know we've prayed about it we thought about it we've sought counsel on numerous fronts so we're feeling like this is where we're supposed to go so let's go message to my babe you killed it you did a great job proud of you you took this from nothing and made it something and i love you i guess whatever's gonna wiggle around yeah. in here gonna, this is where i was would prop up the camera oh <laughs> i'm like what is all of the oh this is where I prop you guys up when I'm videoing here sometimes. Tell me if this shot looks familiar. <laughs> I think it's like the, has it, is it, is it like that. Yeah. It, yeah. There it is. <laughs> Something like that.
by the lobster trailer. It's gone. Just a trailer, it's okay. I'm just kind of sad. It's okay. Dad's sad too. I'm not sad. Yes, you are. No. Yes, you are. It's hot. I sweat from my eyes. <laughs> All right, guys. Trailer's gone. You got emotional. You got emotional as well. I did not get emotional. I am solid. I am. 100%. Dude, it's a big change. Yeah, it was. It's a big change. I'm gonna get emotional again. Wow. Like I was telling you, sometimes you gotta close one dream to start another. Yep. It's one set of goals sometimes you have to wrap up. You gotta yep. let something go to grab onto something else. That's so true, because what what we're kind of thinking in our next vision, I guess if you'd say, we couldn't yep. do both. Right. No. Yep. And for stress level and purposes like that, time. he needs a little bit of things. a break. Did you show him your new space? Oh, I showed her. Well, I didn't show the finished product, but I'm kind of still working on it. I'll, I'll show him once it's 100%. That's that's where he's going to be. He's I, <laughs> right up those stairs. Pretty nice. I got, uh, I could, if I get bored, I can go play with the toys up there. You could. He's got a bed. Yeah. I asked yeah. him, I said, babe, you've got a bed, you've got your office, and you have a bathroom. And, and, we're, and, and we're set up for a service kitchen in case I don't walk And around. a kitchen. There could be a kitchen here. installed up there. We've plumbed for it. Will I ever see you? Maybe not. You know in the scripture talks about going to the corner of the rooftop. That is that could be that could be my place. <laughs> okay. First off, I'm super offended. Super offended by those comments. Rude. It's good. I think it'll be fine. It's a little hot up there. Yeah. I have but, open. And we have an AC unit that we could potentially bring in if it gets really, really bad. We'd hate to put like turn on electricity. But if it gets bad enough, you could do it. So we're getting dinner. It's much later. It's very late. Don't I mean, it's really, it's really not late. See, it's bright outside. Anyway, we're going to wrap up today. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with us. We love being able to share these crazy changes, monumental, different seasons of life with you guys. It's crazy. You guys have been through so much. I mean, you have been, those of you who have been with us when we were filming back in our rental house, you saw us out in that trailer. Working can we, can in that we show the picture of the kids? Oh my goodness. Look at this. Here, I'll go like this. Look at this picture of these of these two little children. Two years, two years after we started, and they're like the office assistant and then the assistant to Office the, assistant's assistant. Office assistant's assistant. <laughs> Audrey asked if I could print out an email because she didn't know what that was. She was, could you print me out an email? I'm like, sure. And that's just kind of fun stuff we could do with that little trailer, right? Oh, yeah. Or they could just kind of come out and... I even gave Audrey some jobs where she had to go find all the thermostat locations with like that. a highlighter and I'd have her go like highlight all those for my jobs and then she was like, Dad, do you need me to come help work? I remember that. That was super fun. A lot out of that place. So when you guys have had major like changes or things like that in your life, like what's, what's helped you get through it? Was it like an easy transition for you um, or did you find it a little bit hard? Yeah. Give us some, give us some uh, comfort. <laughs> Or words of encouragement. Words of encouragement. We can do it. We can do it's it. just going to be different. It's just going to be very different. But that's okay. We're up for it. One of many changes to come, I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure. So anyway, thanks guys for coming along with us. Sharing the day. Sharing the memories. Um, we super, super appreciate it. With that, I guess we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Watching.